Howdy y'all and welcome back. So many of you know that I carried a Smith & Wesson shield for years, like years and years. And it was the first gun that I gave away on this channel was my super jazzy hot rotted M&P shield. Ever since I parted with it, I have not been particularly compelled to get another one. I like them. I think they're great. I would absolutely recommend a shield, especially with the new Shield Plus. Uh, if you're in the market for something as an everyday carry type of gun, definitely recommend them. But right after I gave that away, I had the opportunity, because of this channel, to pick up a 365 XL, and I thought this will be perfect to carry. I tried 365s before, a little snappy, but I thought the, the XL will fix that. And it didn't. And it turns out that the snappy isn't because of the short barrel or the way it's sprung necessarily, although I think that has something to do with it also. It's the grip. In particular, the grip shape, the grip angle. So I had just sort of resigned to, you know what, I'll just carry a compact. Small guns are not for me. That's fine. I can get away with carrying a 19 or like an M&P compact or something of that size. And then a couple of months ago, I was out shooting with my buddy Martin and a friend of his had a 43X. And I was like, well, let me give that a try. And it was like that Goldilocks, like, ah, there it is. And so Glock 43X. It's been back here, like, working at me, and I had some other, uh, I'd actually planned on doing an optic and some other stuff with my 19 first, and then getting one of these, and then I'm like, ah, oh, let me just go ahead and get this now. So, 43X, and I have already ordered sights for it, <laughs> so no, it's not staying stock. Uh, I will probably, I'm going to try to just keep this to the sights and probably an Apex trigger kit, and then maybe leave it alone after that. Maybe a thumb release. I don't know. We'll see. But I do like the idea of keeping a gun as stock as possible if it's going to be the one that you everyday carry. Uh, number one, there's that whole, like, if it ends up in front of a jury kind of thing. And there's the cost if it ends up in an evidence locker. You're not out like the super, you know, expensive gun that you built. So I want to keep this kind of more utilitarian. We will see. So why does the 43X work for me so much better than the 365 or even the shield? It is the grip shape. Let me take a second. I, while I was at the gun store the other day, I lined up a uh, this guy and a 365 side by side or kind of on top of each other to try to show what I'm talking about. Here you go, right here. Hey, real quick, Swamp Fox giveaway. Buy me a soy latte, link in the description. Each $5 soy latte, each $5 donation to the channel gets you one ticket in the drawing. Today is Friday, drawing is Sunday. If you're into this, if you think you might want one, support the channel. Maybe you win stuff, maybe you don't. Also, uh, end of this month, giving away the SIG 229 Elite. That's my $25 and $50 Patreon supporters are on that drawing. If you're not already, link in the description. Get on board with the Patreon. I give away stuff. Okay, back to the regularly scheduled program. So, you saw there the difference. It's right here. It's this part that fills right there in my hand. That makes the difference. So... I am able to clamp down and put grip force on the 43X in a way that I cannot do with the 365. The shield, it's it's wide enough this way. It's a little even thicker this way. I can get a really nice purchase on that. I can shoot it one-handed, and I feel like I'm in control the whole time. This is even better, and it's the forced breakover of the grip angle in conjunction with being just wide enough, just thick enough. It all just comes together for me and I can form a nice solid grip where I don't feel like I'm working too hard. 
And again, the difference, like where I where this really comes into play, is controlled pairs, double taps. With the 365, you know, shooting it once, it doesn't. It's not that bad. It's whatever. It's trying to run the gun in a mock defensive scenario where I feel like I don't. It, it moves around in my hand, and I just can't. And that is this part right here. Fills up this part, locks into my hand, and I feel like I have control. So that is why 43X. So that's all I got for today. I uh, should have the sights video coming up just any minute now. <laughs> and until next time, be easy, y'all.